Rick Lagina and members of the team have gathered in the war room to discuss an exciting development, one which they hope will shed new light on the origin of their most incredible find to date, the mysterious Lead Cross. So guys, everybody is well aware of the cross. You know, Gary's smiling as we speak. He's made sure everybody knows about it. Well, we've got something for you to look at. Yeah, very nice. Six weeks ago, Rick Lagina and Craig Tester arranged for the cross to be tested at the University of New Brunswick using a process known as laser ablation. A microscopically small portion of the cross was irradiated with a laser beam in an effort to determine not only the exact chemical makeup of the cross, but where the lead may have come from. The results were astounding. So the lead cross is not from North America. Wow. Now with this evidence, if you will, it's not North American lead. It certainly doesn't eliminate the possibility that this is indeed a Templar connection. So in order to further the, the testing, We've reached out to the German Mining Museum. Charles, why don't you call him up, and uh, we'll see what he can tell us. Hello, Tobias. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Tobias Skovronik is a geochemist at the German Mining Museum in the city of Bochum. Established in 1930, the museum boasts a preeminent research archive in the field of mining archaeology and is renowned for its vast database of metals and other mineral deposits throughout the ancient world. So Tobias, as you can probably understand, we're somewhat on pins and needles uh, hoping to hear what you have to tell us. So if you'd be, again, so kind, uh, we're very anxious. Yeah, so I compared the lead isotope data of the cross that you gave me with my database of ore bodies and metals here are somehow related to European deposits where archaeologists know medieval mining took place. And I think I found the match there. Really? <laughs> yeah. And time period-wise, you think it's pre-15th century then? Um, I think it's pre-15th century, yes. Wow. You nailed it, Gary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. This could be yeah. Templar connected. <laughs> so, uh, Tobias, can you name a specific city or region? most probably the area of two mountain ranges of southern France, the Cévennes and the so-called Montagne Noire. It's like 20 miles by 20 miles. In the area of rennes le chateau Yeah, yeah, that's pretty close, yeah. That's exactly where we were. Wow. <laughs> wow. Four years ago, Marty and Alex Lagina traveled to rennes le chateau a village in southern France that has strong connections to the Knights Templar dating back to the 13th century. Hello. My name is Marty. Nice to meet you. There, they met with Toby Dobler, a modern-day Templar Grand Master. If you were going to look for the treasure of the Knights Templar right now, today, you would look on Oak Island. That's for sure. It was Toby's belief that members of the Knights Templar moved priceless religious artifacts to rennes le chateau in the 14th century for safekeeping before transporting them to Scotland and later to Oak Island. Could the team finally have the hard scientific evidence they've been looking for, that the stories of a Templar journey to Oak Island are true? Well, look, Tobias, I, all we can do is say thank you. I think you raised eyebrows right across the length and breadth of this table, certainly. Mm -hmm and we'll have to discuss uh, where we go with the information. You're very welcome, and I thank you to be involved. Thank you, Tobias. Appreciate it. We'll be in contact. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. 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 Wow. That cross is associated with the Templar-influenced region in France. It's certainly the time of the Templars, 1300s, 1400s, um, or even earlier. All of that is astounding news. But it's not just the one item, it's what that item represents, and that item represents possibilities. What other answers reside in that cove? I mean, if it was made pre-15th century and it was deposited near the time it was made, it is probably the most historic thing that's maybe ever happened in North America. Yeah, that's incredible news. The hunt continues. <laughs>